Hello guys and welcome to the 10th episode of our cohort campaign here in Crusader Kings 2 with the Game of Thrones mod. So we're back, uh, we're still in our, our um, what's the opposite of a golden period? Just a bad period? Yeah, we're in a very bad period, things are bad. Um, we lost three provinces that we won very expensively and difficultly, we have kept two of them but yeah. We're not doing too well, I'm not gonna lie. We're doing quite bad actually. Uh, we have been conquered by the Dothraki, there was nothing I could do. They had like 50,000 troops or even more at the time. Shit's insane. Yeah, the Dothraki are very stable uh, in this game. I don't know, are, are hordes stable in the base game? It's been so long since I've played normal CK2 that I wouldn't actually know. But I know that, uh, oh I don't know, it, it just seems a bit odd to me that the Great Call is so stable. Although I guess it's made so it made it's made that way so that the player can have a bit of an easier time if he plays as the Dothraki. I'm not sure. Then again, this is a very good call. A lot of martial, you know, the stuff that matters. Impressive warhorse. He he is what a call should be. We, however, are definitely not what a merchant republic prince should be. Uh, we have just defaulted and a loan to the Iron Bank, and it's still questionable whether or not we'll ever be able to take a loan again. Uh, the good thing about being under the, th the, 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 the Dothraki, though, is that at least no Dothraki are raiding us anymore. You know, that's nice. Um, also, I love that even if these guys revolted, at least this province is still the Black Goat of Kohor. There is a there is some hint that we were here. And this guy has just lost 7,000 troops somehow. Uh, I don't know what he has been off doing. Although he's favored by the mother Roy, and that's bad, because I know the Roy and R can do magic in this patch. It was recently introduced, so they can do water magic to fuck bitches and get money. Also, what's going on over here? Oh yeah, of course, we, uh, it, the stripes are because of the fact that we are vassals of the Great Stallion, so... That's why. So yeah, uh, we're just gonna continue playing, uh, save up cash because I never ever ever want to have low money again. And also, uh, the fact that we can shut the gates. What? Well, didn't I have enough diplomacy to tell people to fuck off previously? Uh, also, didn't you have cancer? No, that's the other guy, okay, well, that's unfortunate. No, Nissa Bor... No, uh, would it really hurt me that badly if I became a tyrant? Nah. We can we can deal. Oh wow, really? Alright, so some time has passed. I'm trying to get elected again, but maybe I don't have that much money, so maybe I should chill a bit. Uh but it looks like the great sickness has gone away. Well great then, let's uh, open the gates. Brilliant! Whoa, okay. What just happened? Where did the call go? Three, yeah. What? This is a civil war? Or, or did my prayers get heard? The poor performance of the who now? Yeah, I don't, I don't care. As long as you guys like me, it's fine. Where's the great call? Wasn't you the, weren't you the great call? Are we done then? Am I independent again? Well, I'm not paying any dues to the fuck you Christmas music. I'm not paying any, um, you know, money to the call anymore, I don't think. No, it's just family dues. Adult court men at court. Yeah, I, I need to get rid of some of these people. Who are you people even? Alright then, it looks like it actually broke up. Okay, I guess my complaining actually achieved something. Cool. Also, here's the thing. So, Jillo Targaryen uh, is actually in my court. I already married him off to this girl, but it looks like she died while the plague was a thing. Yeah, has great sickness. So, she did not survive that. Uh, so, yeah, let's find you your third wife. Yeah, I want to keep breeding these uh, Targaryen children. 
Uh, I don't know. I guess he just fled to me or something. No, that's right. Didn't I invite him? I forget, actually. Tame a dragon. Yeah, you should totally tame a dragon, dude. Honestly, it's kind of a shame that you're um, Kohoric. You really should be High Valerian. You would be better off that way. Maybe I'll try and invite some High Valerians to try and educate your children. Although that wouldn't work, though. No, you can't educate yourself to become High Valerian. You need to... I think maybe this patch introduced the thing where you can have, like, as long as you have one of the parents be High Valerian, you can educate yourself to become it. I, I forget. But yeah, let's find this guy someone to marry, I guess. Joera, Princess of the Iron Throne. Are you... Yeah, you're my cousin. Yeah, I guess... No, I think we're gonna... We'll leave you for some other person. Although I should actually... Yeah, let's do a matrilineal marriage. And then... Not our children, that would be silly. Um, actually, should yeah, she does she does have claims. Although then again, I don't have much interest in becoming king of the Iron Throne. But I would like to keep my little branch of the Targaryen dynasty going. So we could go for some, just some random dipshit who is fertile and nice. I guess we'll use the. Uh, this button instead to find someone better. Oh, never mind, it actually just brought up the same people. Well, I'll do this thing then. All right, so here we are again. Uh, if you wonder what that little edit was, uh, that essentially signified the thing that keeps happening in this playthrough and also a lot in the previous playthrough. And that is the fact that I went to bed, did a bunch of other stuff for a couple of days, and now we're back recording. But the previous bit of recording was not long enough to make an episode, and so here we are. I decided to make that little edit so that I don't have to go through this explanation every time I do that because, let's face it, at this point that's just going to be a thing. Uh, because I'm not, I'm not good at staying awake when I don't feel like staying awake. And so uh, I fear that uh, the odds of me randomly stopping recording in the middle of an episode will happen again in the future. Uh, but yeah, anyways... Uh, yeah, I need to get used to the idea of not starting this recording as if it's a new episode, because it's not. But of course, uh, the reason I put that little edit there is so that uh, you will understand me when I look at the Dothraki Sea with more confusion than I probably should be looking at it with. Because in the previous part of this episode, the Dothraki Sea seemingly got dissolved, which is uh, an interesting turn of events. Uh, I have not quite understood, underst I don't quite understand how that happened, also Marine has been conquered by the Dothraki, and not only has it been conquered, but it has been permanently conquered it seems. Uh, although, are you trying to redo, oh, I don't know, who knows, that's a nice beard by the way, but yeah, um, this means that I think we're free again, which should boost our income, uh, because we shouldn't be paying any, um, you know, yeah, okay, we're paying a fuck ton of family dues. Well, that's really bad, actually. Holy... Mm, oh, okay. Yeah, can we... Mm, I don't know, I'm not really super in the mood of paying family dues right now. I mean, we obviously need to keep one ear, but surely we can have another guy fuck off. Yeah, we have two lads here. We have this lad, and then there is our actual... Well, they're, no, these are our half-brothers, never mind. Wait, are both our half-brothers, or how does this work? Half-brother? Yeah, siblings. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so this is our heir. Uh, yeah, he's he's fine. He's... Eh, I don't know. He will do. He will do for now. He's a zealous proper man, so that's at least nice. Um, yeah, uh, one thing, though, is that during the civil war that was ongoing when the Dothraki Kalasar uh, got dissolved, I think this guy had sort of rejected to support me through the Great War system, and now he is independent, but I think we can just casually offer him to join back up. Not my Desire League, but power is good, and we're just, you know, profoundly glorious and awesome. Actually, we're not. We have no prestige at all. What? Jillo Targaryen has left me? No! 
That's unfortunate. Hadn't he already gone to a court or... I don't remember. Well, that's dis displeasing. You Okay, so you went to Westeros. Okay, so... Uh, you will try and reclaim what is yours by rights. So I guess I can understand that, honestly. The thing is, though, I'm just worried that you're not going to breed properly. We need... Um, we need to keep this line of Kahoric Targaryens going. Uh, the alliance has broken down, that's understandable. After all, we we made him our vassal. Yes, yeah, so this is our half-brother as well, the House of Zoat. The House of Zoat actually will die out though, because this guy's kind of dying right now. Which is a shame. This shitter will take the place instead. Yeah, it's, that's honestly very unfortunate. Some shitty... Why? Why was... No, don't... That makes no sense, actually. Why w wouldn't I inherit? What fucking succession law is this? This is bullshit. Anyways, let's hope the... Uh, what's this? Uh, group of carpenters. Right, we're trying to get... Um, build time? No. No, let's do city tax. Fuck the guild. Uh, let's face it, I'm not going to be building anything anytime soon right now, so... Let's, uh, let's not care about that. I swear to memes, this is ridiculous. This shitter of Arnoi, who is just a remnant after our, you know, after we lost all of these territories to a little revolt. Well, it was not a little revolt, it was a fucking massive one. But yeah, he's now successfully invading Norvus to conquer territories. Dude, we should be allies, but you don't have any relatives, we can't ally you. It's ridiculous. Can't take any land. On average, we're just shit. Yeah, I really want to invade this guy, I want to start reclaiming shit. Um, seize the trade post. And... Cohort holdings. The holding... Right, wait, do you own some... Do you own land here? Somehow? Uh, I, don't know, I don't understand. Yeah, but I don't know. Uh, I am, I'm still waiting though. He still has a lot of those event spawn troops. Once those are dead, uh, we'll be fine. Yeah, we're not doing super hot on the levy either. So I think we're going to keep it... Keep waiting. Uh, what? You want to get my new slave? I just got that from an event. I mean, if you're willing to pay good cash... Uh, no. If you're not willing to pay good cash, I will keep her. Hey, success! The mercenaries ambushed! Uh, so who exactly... Yes, we killed the guy with the most respect. His heir is now this little kid. And we are in line for the throne. Uh, we can probably respect ourselves a bit and, uh, you know... Yeah, become the heir. Although, mm, then again, do I even want to be the heir at this point? Well, it's, it's so cheap that I might as well. But I did read that plotting to take another man's... Uh, wait, is that... Didn't we just kill him? Game? Yeah, okay, good. Yeah, if you want to plot to, like, uh, pause the game, please. Uh, I will not support that. Uh, actually, I will. But yeah, pause the game. Uh, yeah, to plot to take another person's trading post, um, you need to actually be a pat patrician, or, you know, a sub-patrician, or whatever you want to call it. So I was correct in that. Um, so for now, we... Uh, might want to go and go ahead and lose it again, but uh, I really want the cash right now from being the leader of the Republic. So I think I'll I'll stick stick it out for now. You know. All right, so we're off to foreign lands to do an expedition and try not die and earn money. All the while we I guess we brought our slave. You know, gotta have our fun on the boat, which I bought. I love how I'm sitting here pretending to. Ooh, what happened? Vesujas was slain. Really. Merchant Prince Lyat, also, sorry for sitting too close to the microphone. I have a bad habit of that. Yeah, the, the son of Viserion. So the son of the dragon, or daughter, it's hard when it comes to dragons. Of, um... Oh yeah, also there's a dragon religion? Oh, wonder if that could be abused somehow. But yeah, let's not think about that. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's neat. Neat, neat, neat. So brave. That's good, actually. I don't... I'm not a huge fan of dragons being in, in this world. Um, uh, the expedition finally reaches the realm of King Mazdan Zograzdan. Your Lord Treasurer asks what gift we shall bring him as a f token of friendship. Uh, Star wrong horses. 
Let's give him some cloth. Surely he can handle that. Do you, he doesn't like me very much, does he? What's this? At dinner, you notice King Mazdan, the monster's face, growing red with annoyance as he glares at your steward, shoveling his food in with his bare hands. Yes, please excuse him. Uh, I will... I don't know. Are you... Ah, you're my dumbass brother. Well, actually, you're my heir, so maybe we shouldn't have him killed, but, you know. Oh, so yeah, I'm, I'm killing people again. Uh, I'm killing this girl. I noticed I am her heir for some reason, so, you know. Eh. Free, uh, free real estate. Also, she has m mad respect, and I wouldn't mind getting this little trade post here, so, you know. It's win, 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 win. You're walking idly around the court of King Mazdan when you suddenly hear a discussion uh, increasing in intensity around the corner. You turn the corner... Turning the corner, you're surprised to see one of the priests from the expedition engaged in a wild theological debate with the local noble. This could endanger the whole venture! Oh no! I mean... Normally, I would stop them, but I did intentionally bring these priests, and the black goat is the ultimate god, and so it's not like I'm going to pretend to not agree with the situation. After long hours of discussing the terms of how trade can be sustained, you and King blah blah comes to a conclusion that you both agree on. Hopefully we earn back at least what we sp Oh man, we definitely did, holy ball sack. Trade route, extra tax for 30 years what we gain trader we gain business business contact 500 gold what that's so good okay i have gained a new newfound respect for the business focus that's pretty fucking sick i was even able to spread well not spread the glory but you know um annoy people with the pure glory of my god so you know that's that's positive fuck yeah you... Fuck you, you can suck dick. Seriously, like, why would I give you money? You, I already give you money every month. I don't understand why I would have to give you extra money. That's on the opposite side of the spectrum of things that make sense. Also, that's a big colossar, actually. Yeah, could we could we negotiate? Could we do that? Uh, which is ruled by a vassal. Offer the county? No. Fuck that, no. Are you drunk? I'm not gonna give you my counties, that's insane. Could have paid you off, sure, but this is a hey, war chest. Good on us. For being good. Let's grab ourselves let's see how oh, yeah, five years of peace. Let's let's do that actually. Um Let's prosper about a bit. Although Well, I mean if this guy wanna burn down the trade post here and I could just swoop swoop in and rebuild it, I wouldn't mind that. That's tolerable. Yeah, he's stealing a lot of money here, but I don't have enough troops to deal with him. Well, I could if I used my own troops, but that would be crazy. I wouldn't want to do that. What? Oh, okay, I get it now. So this cunt, um, we have gained an opportunity to kidnap his daughter. Ah. Yes, and ooh, I just sort of randomly noticed that he has no army anymore. So you know, you know, I, I'll take, I'll, I'll, I'll grab myself some children. Yes, I won't hurt them for now, <laughs> till I fucking invade you, that is, and take your shit. Oh man, uh, didn't yeah claim Dagger Lake? I think that's gonna be the first thing. Claim it for this guy, maybe. Actually, he's a royal shitter. Uh, I could have sworn there was like some dipshit down here who had a claim on it. I guess maybe he lost it as time passed or something. That's unfortunate. Uh, oh, well, I don't know what to do then. I guess I could just grab my colony back. But Wow, look at this. Yeah, look at this shitter. He, this was an advanced colony. He has ruined it. I almost fear invading now. Ah, son. Ah, oh, slave son. Okay, well... I could just could just grab another slave, honestly. I mean, I don't want to lose prestige, nor do I. Yeah, I have enough. I have enough children. I have enough children. Uh, although another bass. No, let's get a bastard. I enjoy the the thought of having cadet branches of my house all around the place, and bastards are like one of the few ways you can do that. 
Alright, so the sun is named Levento, named after... Two seconds... Levente, King of Hungary, in the Discord chat. He didn't ask for it, but, uh, I don't know. I needed... Ah! More children! But this is not my ch child, though. Wait. Yeah, that was Levento. The okay, so... Oh, here we go, then. Uh, wait, are you... Okay, yeah, you're just some random kid. You can just have a random name. I don't know. Tordos, that's the one. Off you go. And I really have to start considering... Hey, what happened? Saloris. Ah, my cath has finally converted to the Black Oath. Excellent. Bloody excellent. Uh, now I'll have you venture to... Is that already Black Oath? Oh, it is Black Oath. Okay, well... Has it always been that? No. Oh, all our realm is Black Oath then. Yeah, the, the faith is spreading. Uh, perform charity then, in the city of Kohor, because we're kind of watching it be burnt down, so they could do with some charity, I guess. Yeah, I think I'll have to kill this. I'll have to kill this army. It's kind of... No, no, it ran off. Did you burn down the... Th no, you didn't even... You didn't even try. You just... I don't even know what you're up to. Can you fuck off now? Oh, no. You're just going to burn this guy's house down. So mean. So mean. All right, so it doesn't look like he's going to stop. Uh, so we're going to have to put an end to his, uh, his memes here. Oh, fuck off. Is he running away? He's running away. That fucking shitter. So he burnt this to the ground, literally. <laughs> There's nothing more here. Uh, I shouldn't laugh. I shouldn't, but, you know, I am. So what is a man to do? Blackmail a vassal. Are you shit vassal? You're shit vassal. Can you die? Can we kill you? Oblige. No, not threaten. Fuck, that's not what I wanted to do. Threaten never. Ah, it actually worked. Oh, brilliant. I, I'll give you a reward for that. You're a greedy f son of a shit. So... Um, uh, that works actually. That works. Because now you're gonna go raid that. That sort of implies that you're not actually done raiding, so I'm gonna go murder you anyways. Ah, my uh, my wife, right, my wife. Getting close now to not any more childbearing age. Then again, well at least medieval standards childbearing age. Modern day technology and shit makes it possible to have kids at an old age. I think my IRL mom was born... Hey, money, fuck yeah was born relatively late to my grandmother. Uh, to all my subjects, the inheritance of uh, irrelevant has been chronically irrelevant these days. It's honestly kind of mind-blowing. Oh man, that's so irrelevant! Holy shit! Have you guys ever seen something like that before? I am... I don't even know what to say. Wait, was that guy gonna go kill him and I just wasted like half my levy for nothing? Who knows? Fuck you and your subjects. Why? Wow, what's... Ooh, shit. What happened? Oh, we got it. Okay. Um, okay, so the it said it was going to go to this dumbass priest, but I guess that never happened. Uh, you can go be that. That's fine. Um, hmm. So we have lands now. Is this good land? Um, that's pretty good land, actually. But it's pretty good indeed. It's not quite as good as this castle, but it's an actual county, so I get some more direct vassals. Yes. And levy uh, from vassals tend to regenerate a lot quicker than levy from castles. I might just give this castle then to someone else in my family. Then again, there's a lot more levy here. And I kind of like the idea of owning land here. No, let's no, let's let's have ourselves a cadet branch elsewhere. Levento Karit, uh, the bastard of my blood. I uh, I grant you the land of that place. Actually, actually, oh, also not that place. Uh, this place. Could I just give it to the city? Because I would like more city vassals. Actually, if I give you the castle of Axe Mountains, you're the right religion. Yes. Would that make this a city thing? I, I, I'm going to do it just to find out. Yes, it does. Brilliant. So now he is... Uh, yeah, so now we have a Republican vassal here, which means that he will like me quite a bit more than all of these non-Republican vassals. Bit boring when it comes to cadet branch creation, but from a strategic point of view, it makes sense. Uh, I wish for prosperity, because I need money. 
Actually, we're doing quite fine on money, actually, but I, I still want more. There's no such thing as not a lot of money to be had. Who are you and why are you salty? Voigus Karit, right. You're my nephew. Born to... Yeah, do I... Are you in my court? General of Sungro? No, you're in Sungro, so I don't think I have to pay you money. So you you just do your thing, I mean. I mean... Uh, my daughter, she can have, like, nothing because... Ooh, strong daughter. Actually, you can have some education now that I think about it. Uh, we will kill Grem. Is, is Grem... Who's Grem? Some random former slave. Yeah, he's a filthy heathen. Weeping lady? Whose idea was that? Die! Uh, that might be necessary or... Yeah. Okay, so... This shitter down in Arnoy, he does actually own some random land in the middle of my city. Kaylain owns the castle walls, which I will definitely want to reclaim. So let's go do that in the next episode, as this one is over. So thanks so much for watching this episode, and until next time, bye.